Murder investigation has been launched after two teenage, two teenage boys died following a stabbing attack in Bristol at the weekend. Uh, the 15 and 16-year-olds were attacked in the south of the city on Saturday morning. Avon and Somerset police say a group of people fled the scene by car. A 44-year-old man and a 15-year-old boy have been arrested and both remain in custody. Now that comes as an FA Cup match between Wolves and West Brom was suspended for 38 minutes on Sunday after fighting broke out, missiles thrown by supporters there as well. We're now joined by former Detective Chief Inspector Mike Neville. Uh, let's go to Mike. And um, Mike, the question we're posing today, are we turning into a lawless nation, right, left and centre, whether it's um, recreation, uh, whether it's people just going about their business during the day or night? Um, it is scary out there in the streets. Why are people so angry? <laughs> I really don't know why people are, are angry, uh, Eamon. The, the key thing I have is the, the police response to this and what people see, what the police do. Um, what we've seen uh, with the football, that's a, a sort of return to the 1970s. Now, the, the police are usually quite ruthless with uh, football fans. You know, when the police uh, just stop oil or uh, Black Lives Matter, it's one way, and with football fans, it's another. But something's gone badly wrong here with the planning of the game that they allow different supporters seemingly to mix and the level of violence is as I say it's a return to those days when there used to be cages up on the football ground and then you've got the the incident in Bristol where we see uh, more teenagers uh, dying through uh, knife crime uh, which just shows that uh, it's not just a London problem often we hear about stabbings and death and it's just a London matter here. It's another uh, city, uh, Bristol, uh, brutal um, uh, killing of, of just seemingly targeted killing of two young men. And, and it just feels that the police are losing control of the streets. And um, whilst seemingly the whole public sector focuses on and politicians focus on vaping or some old nonsense, uh, and it's just... People just feel, I think, that, that, that the establishment hasn't got a grip. It's, it's focusing on silly things rather than the things that really matter in people's lives, like being safe in your house or on the street. Well, I well, believe my... knife crime's gone up by 25% in the last year. I mean, anyone who's a parent of teenagers are fearful every time their, particularly boys, step outside the house. And yeah. at what point are we going to wake the, up the, and, Because and the penalties really are just not strong enough. They're just not scary enough, Mike. I mean, I look at this situation, if they see seriously wanted to do something about this, you're caught with a blade, you're caught with a knife, you get a prison sentence, end off. Well, I, I saw a, a, a dreadful interview on, on another channel where the lady was saying her son was stabbed in the head by a group of lads. Uh, the uh, perpetrators were captured. And one of the punishments was that the, the, the young man who did the stabbing had to write a letter of apology to her son. It's quite incredible. And, and just recently, I was listening to Yvette Cooper and the, uh, the Labour Party policy on knives. And it was all about youth workers in hospitals and all this sort of stuff. There was not one mention of how they're going to find these knives. And, of course, the way you find a knife is to do stop and search. But the politicians don't like that because it doesn't fit the agenda, because then that means the police are racist because they're picking on all the wrong people, allegedly. And, and so it's just, as I say, the public are, are, are just frustrated. You mentioned it before about the uh, immigration and the small boats. And I think the public feel, feeling about crime is exactly the same, that the establishment has lost its way. OK, Mike Neville, thanks very much indeed. Former Detective Chief Inspector, it does certainly feel, doesn't it, as though uh, we are in a state of lawlessness and um, very yeah. concerning situation out there.